Uh, so a couple of years ago, um, some representative of foreign ministry contacted uh, Dorotea, my supervisor. I used to be a PhD student at that time, and uh, asked whether there is some kind of market design solution or economic solution to the problems that they faced, which is presence of black market for the appointments in the visa consulars in Syria and also in Shanghai. Nowadays, in order to improve people's life and actually providing the service, many firms, public offices, you know, in, including German uh, foreign ministry and you know, consulars in foreign countries, introduce online booking systems. And that's many of us used it before, right? So you just call, go online. If you need an appointment, you just observe available slots. You choose it and you put your name inside and then you come in and then you have a number or something. If there is very high demand and the slots are I'm scarce, so there is a big shortage of slots, then firms can develop a technology to just book every available slot and sell it in a black market. Let's say I book the slot on my name all the time and then you need a slot. Then you come to me, I cancel my slot and because I'm the fastest, because I actually do it through the through computer, right? It's a computer program. I have no risk of canceling a slot and immediately booking in already on a correct credential of my client. We are sort of it that the core of the problem li lies in speed, in this technological speed. And to break the speed, to make this kind of the game equal, what we suggest is very simple. We should just discretize the time of allocations. So we break the moment between person choose an application and this property right. So basically what we suggest is very simple run, let's say, a location every day, so people, but just once a day. So people come to the website and can choose the slots. And then in the end of the day, if there are no conflicts and everyone, you just, you know, there are 10 people and there are 10 slots, you just send an email in the end of the day, look, these are your slots. And if there is over demand, then you have to run some kind of fair lottery. So the, the, the field I'm working on and the field this paper belongs to is so-called market design or behavioral market design. I think this field is mostly driven by theory. So first we, we sort of theoretical ways of solving it. And then we, and it's apparently not very complicated way because we use kind of say, you know, uh, available technology or available features which are there, you know, make the system discreet, collect, use a fair location when there is oversupply and so on. But by making the system kind of uh, functional in our heads, then we wanted to test it, of course, because there are many, um, many reasons why uh, nice theoretical solutions sometimes do not work in practice, and their experiments help. And they also might help, and we hope that it will might potentially happen, to convince actually policymakers that uh, the, the solution is better than the status quo, which is typically hard to do purely based on theory.